Yeah. If you're listening to this, drop some money um, and help uh, get that Rotten Tomato score up because it's yeah, it's, for sure. it's definitely too low. Based on just the cinematography alone. Also, uh, Janelle Monet is incredible, you know, because she's, I'm pretty sure she's pretty new to acting. And so she just fucking murders this role, dude. She's so good. Check it out. I'm not going to spoil anything. Please don't no. don't spoil it for yourself if you can. James, you're awfully Me. quiet over there. Whoa, well, well, nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just listening. Oh, all right. Five. And now for the movie focus of the week. All right, so this week I chose um, kind of a random pick. Yeah. The Autopsy of Jane yeah. Doe. <laughs> <laughs> the Autopsy of Jane Doe, it's, from, it's rated R, it's from 2016. It's one hour and 24 minutes, and it's got a high 87 on Rotten. Uh, directed by. Yeah. Uh, Andre Overdahl, starring Emil Hirsch, Brian Cox, Aileen Kelly, and Ophelia Loveybond. The film follows a set of coroners who happen to <clears throat> also be father and son. As the day progresses, the two are given a Jane Doe cadaver that brings a series of bizarre events for the hours to come. As a lifelong genre fan, I fell in love with this flick right away. I love the bare bones approach to the story, the commitment of the characters, and the unner- unnerving soundtrack that creeps along this short but highly effective thriller. Director Andre Overdahl, best known for his films Troll Hunter from 20, uh, 2010 and last year's Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, was on a mission to prove he could, at the time, make more than just a found footage style film. Having been very influenced by James Wan's approach to the original Conjuring and its classic haunted house vibe, this would lead him to receive the autopsy screenplay. Overall, the dread you feel radiating from the screen while watching Jane Doe is undeniable. If you haven't taken this ride into the macabre yet, we highly recommend you check it out on Netflix ASAP. Thank you. Nice. Perfect, dude. So, guys, I think this was a fresh watch for everybody, except for me. Um, So let's start uh, with Tiny, since he has a... He seems like he has a knack for these kind of films. So what did you think about it? Uh, All right. Uh, First impressions was it's it's really good, dude. It deserves its rotten score. I think it's good. For me, I love the eerie. I love the lore of it. Um, I What I think what I wanted from this movie I wanted more because it was so it was short for this kind of movie I I find it it's for me since I have the knack I found it very linear for me I I I found I kind of got everything right away I don't know why I had the knack that I knew what was going to happen um, in this movie I kind of felt something was wrong like obviously with the body and Obviously, the body was still preserving, and I felt a little bit of necromancy or something like that happening in the film. But and so I decided, in my opinion, that she's a witch. Before they get into certain talks, and we'll probably discuss later that about Salem. And uh, I thought it was really good. I, I think it's so linear, but the linear was perfect. For some people, it was confusing. I was having discussions with my, my own friends. They were like, I was so confused. But I'm like, that's what's happened. It's supposed to happen. It's, it's, it's a fucking witch. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but it, it, it deserves it. And to me, I think they should... I, I don't know if, if this is a swan fact, but they need to make a second one because of certain things that we'll probably discuss. We'll probably go through like a play-by-play. But... It's a good movie, dude. I, I was glad to watch this because honestly, it, it's been in my recommend error on Netflix. Like it's always appearing top first. Like it's like it, you knew to choose this for me. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's always there. Like when I open Netflix, all I see is Autopsy and Jane Doe, and I scroll down. You know what I mean? So I'm like, fuck. So now that you brought it up, it was like destined that this was gonna come up to me. You know? So I thought I thought honestly it was a good movie, dude. Like um, I liked it because like. I, I saw everything like I don't know if anyone was thrown off at certain points but it was really good like I think nothing was bad about like how straightforward it was and it just made me want more because there's a lot more to be told and 
I, I honestly thought it was a great film. Uh, it was, uh, I'm glad you recommended this, dude. Honestly. Yeah, thank you. Also, you made a little promo video. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, dude. It was my first promo video for uh, Drop the Mic, but anything with that's not my content i usually use like gaming videos or something that's all me and stuff so that was cool so i wanted to do that for drop the mic and see how it would come out uh, i did upload it and it was fucked up at first so i had to re-download or re-upload it again and i'm glad that uh diego re-liked it twice so that was cool yeah. <laughs> um yeah dude I'll, I'll plan to do that more in the future um for our films dude that we discuss and stuff so that'd be cool uh, but yeah, dude. Honestly, this movie was good, dude. Honestly, it, it did make me crave more the lore of it, and it, there's so much like lore. Like uh, I don't know. Like uh, maybe we, uh, if I let someone else grab the floor, they can discuss what they, what the like. Maybe I'm trying to say. So uh, who wants to go next on on their thoughts on the film? James. Um, I'll go. Um, First of all, I, I gotta say, whoever you watched that with, um, I don't know how the hell they were confused because that was a pretty sure that four. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it was. Uh, I talked to some kid I played games with, and he was like, "I was so confused." I'm like, "How?" <laughs> but he I mean, was, unless they watched like, it, unless they're like unless they like half ass watched the movie or something. Yeah. Or, uh, I don't know, but but for me, I, I don't. That movie was. Uh, you, you hit it on the on the nose there, uh, um, Tiny. I think. Uh, uh, well, Emil Emil Hirsch and Brian Cox. They do an amazing job. It, the movie I mean, is basically them two the whole time, and yeah. um, it's very short, small cast. Yeah, you're playing off those two the entire time, pretty much, and 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 it's all on them, which they do an outstanding job on that. And I love the the. I want to say this movie. I, I don't. I don't know the facts on it, but I feel like it didn't cost that much to make just because of their they were in that one area for so long yeah. of the movie so for so much of the movie um but yeah the, the lore of everything and then how they're kind of uh figuring it out towards the end of, of what's going on and and they you know the you know the dad figures out that she's a witch or she was accused of being a witch and um and i like his saying where he says you know you basically you were trying so hard to like kill this witch quote unquote when you inevitably ended up creating one by trying to torture her uh, burn her alive and, and all those things so um, they kind of created a curse themselves by trying yeah, to kill her they brought it upon themselves yeah and I, I like the, the little brief history that he had uh, of Salem where he which is actually true that they uh, there was no no witches it was kind of mass hysteria and um, and young teenage women kind of just pointing the finger at each other and other villagers and hung and shit. yeah go ahead. go ahead oh I was just gonna say I love the that detail when he Brian Cox's character says oh yeah like but nobody everybody all the women were innocent during the Salem trials. Um, and it was just mass hysteria kind of created this facade of, of like witches. And that's mm -hmm. kind of what happens to them. You know, they start going a little mad and, uh, the witch herself creates like these delusions where they think that they're in peril. They think that they're in danger, but are they really, and what are we really seeing throughout the film? Is there any uh, real apparent danger or are they just imagining well, witches? You know. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to get at, too, because at the end, you, I mean, not really at the end, but toward, towards the end, you see the dad, um, their their dad and the son, or Austin and Tommy, are both in the, the elevator, and they're trying to go up, and they can hear the bell getting closer and closer, and then, you know, uh, the, his dad kind of flings the axe into their shadows to hit the, uh, the okay. cadaver. Because there's obviously a necromancing thing happening right there like there was obviously a dead body the one that was in the the one with the hole in the face because that's that's one of the things that the girl was trying to see remember so and then, then Emil Hirsch says no you don't want to see that and that's the body that was coming towards them in the elevator and that's the body that the dad ends up slicing or hatcheting but it was the girlfriend spoilers so that that was where my friend got confused and I'm like this movie has a lot of unknown, but it's very known what witches are capable of. And I think the movie does 
that justified, dude. Like, the body of the witch could not be really harmed. It obviously was pristine because they said, oh, it has this damage on it. But, like, I don't know, man. It was it was good. Like, they kind of did witches right in this film, dude. Because I feel like you can't kill a witch, to be honest, dude. <laughs> like... I don't know. It was, that was a pretty cool aspect. I agree with you that I think they, they presented witches uh, not only in a great way, but in a different way. Because obviously, they, she's rendered pretty um, helpless. She's immobilized. Yeah, you know. And obviously, it's discovered uh, towards the end of the film that her body is indeed being kept alive by an unknown entity. Um, so what other way would she be able to um, defend herself, you know, because these people unknowingly are chopping away at a, at a somebody who's alive, rather than uh, you know, yeah. kind of um, they, make them go crazy and, they, and they see things talk about that. that aren't... They do talk about um, that, oh, we've been picking at her body, so she wants us to feel what she's been feeling i think they talk about that in the film if i'm not mistaken yeah they say something like that so like she just feels like i have to get even like you know maybe that's what salem was about like getting even because the girls were getting tortured so she's probably just seeing the same shit all over again like i don't know like it's kind of cool like i said i wanted more um so that that's a good aspect dude i don't it was pretty cool uh i think I think I find it weird because the girlfriend snuck up on Emil Hirsch and it feels like if she was somehow there sneaking up on him, she fucked up. <laughs> like the second time. I think she, she, well, she was she, he even he even says that it's 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 his fault that she's there because he told her to come back at eleven. Oh, so that's why she yeah. was there. But why wouldn't you say, Hello guys, are you stuck in the elevator? What's going on? Like I don't know. Well, that's, well, that's I mean, the, the yeah. Of the movie. So, that's that's the lore of the witch again. Is they're like even if she was trying to talk to them, yeah, they're seeing the monster. They're seeing the like the 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 body that you're talking about that the face is missing. So they made them like scared for their life, and then the reality sets in of what he's actually he's just killed you know austin's girlfriend and it's the same way and i don't know if you guys picked up on this but in the beginning of the film they realize that the they find their their cat which they seem to both be attached to there's a hidden meaning with that is that they were okay. they were in a trance the entire time so was the cat actually harmed or was the cat fine <laughs> And they like, thought, like, like, and, they, and, and they made he, the old man snap the cat's neck, like for, on purpose. For, no, not on purpose, but for like they were, they were, they were imagining the yeah. fact that the cat was attacked, and it could have just been resting, and and the fact that they just kill it for just to kill it, and they probably just kill the cat that was just resting and stuff. Yeah, that yeah. that that was the whole thing about like him, the girlfriend too, like. The, she probably was screaming at them like, "Yo, what's up? What's up? Are you guys yeah. okay? Are you guys all right?" But the fact that they were still under this um, um, curse and like that, and like that, that vision, it was just it, it, they they killed her because they they thought they were going to be attacked. Uh, Diego, you haven't uh, talked about your thoughts on the film yet. Um, overall, well, I mean, in in general, like. Uh, it takes a lot for me to like a horror movie and this one I really enjoyed. Um, especially the acting in this one was just, it, it, it reminded me, I, I don't want to uh, compare it to anything, but it kind of reminded me of like, a, almost like uh, Reservoir Dogs or, or um, Lighthouse, uh, where it's just taking place in one area, you know? And yeah. and that, um, and that fact it just it just makes makes it more I think complicated for the actors and for the story to progress, and the fact that it progressed the way it did and it was just fast, um, it just made this movie a little bit more um, better for for that reason. Uh, the cinematography, of course, was beautiful, beautifully made. Um, the cuts in and out were just um, of the witch and the monsters and everything was just. It, it 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 really brought a sense of like they're bringing back like the actual scary in scary movies and they're not making like a half ass um, movie, movie just to just just to make it you know like they actually bring the horror and that's yeah. like 
something that um, kind of, I think, for, for